many investors, especially retail investors, I, I think really find options alluring. They're often marketed as like a quick get rich quick scheme to some degree. And obviously that brings people in. You can get rich overnight. You'll see on most recently with like NVIDIA, you'll see on Wall Street Bets and on Instagram and other places where they're getting these 3,000, 5,000% gains overnight. Obviously that's going to ball, ball people in, but I will say right now, those people are gambling. Do not do that. But Wealth Simple has really been pushing their ads for their options trading program, which they previously, I couldn't find the post, but they've previously, this was five or six years ago now, really were like, we're not doing that. We don't want to touch it. And now they've obviously had a change of mind. But the company as a whole, they're really known for their low commission, simple trading platform and at their mobile application. So, but they are now advertising $2 per contract option trading for US securities and saying they have made options trading simple and it is quick to sign up. Since Wealth Simple really targets retail investors, I thought I would just go through the basics of options, why they can increase risk substantially, and a quick critique of Wealth Simple. First off, just the basics of options trading. If you are familiar with options, this is really for you just to give people an idea if they aren't familiar with options at all as a concept. First off, the options come in really two basic types. You have your calls and your puts. If you buy a call, you have the right, but not the obligation, to purchase the underlying, in this case, a stock at a certain price known as the strike price, but not the obligation to do that. So you don't need to do it. You get the choice of buying that price or not. And puts are the right to sell, but not the obligation. So the general uh, theme is if you want, if you think a stock is going to go up in their most simple form, you would buy a call. But if you think the stock price is going to go down, you would buy a put. When you purchase an option, you pay what is known as an option premium, which is just simply the price of the option contract. The price of the option contract is determined by the following factors. The price of the underlying, which is in this case, most likely the stock which you're looking at. The strike price, which is the price which you can either buy or sell the underlying at. The time to maturity, the implied volatility of the underlying stock. So how much is changing day over day, month over month, week over week, and so on. And interest rates, as well as dividend expectations. For a call option, the lower the strike price, the higher the premium. And for a put, it is the reverse. So the, the higher the strike price, the higher the premium. And for both, the longer the maturity and the higher the implied volatility, the higher the premium for both calls and puts. Whereas for a call option, price is positively correlated to interest rates and negative correlated with dividend. And then the opposite is true for puts. Option contracts are normally a, the underlying for stocks. So it's normally a hut. 100 stocks. So if you see a quote for a $10 option and purchase one contract, you actually pay $1,000 to purchase the option. The exact pricing of options can be broken down into Greeks, which are just notations for the equation of how option premiums change to certain factors. I'm not really going to get into them because that would be not even just a lecture, it would be a whole course. But as a starting point, if you really are interested in looking into options, Look into the five main Greeks, Delta, Theta, Veta, Gamma, and Rho. But in simple terms, just why are options so risky? The answer is leverage. A real world example, using a short dated option, which tend to have higher leverage, NVIDIA is trading at $389, and we're going to use a strike price of $387.5 with a June 23 call, so next week from the time of recording. And that option currently trades at a price of 1045. These are just from Friday close, just for reference. And this would result in a leverage of over 20 times. So you can multiply the impact of the price change by 20 times. Just to give you an idea of how much options fluctuate in price, the option price ranged from 625 to 1220 during Friday's session, while the stock price only changed from 375 to 392. So a vast difference in how much you can leverage your wealth. Now, circling back to Wealth Simple, I have a couple issues with their advertising. First off, $2 a contract is not exactly cheap. Cheaper options do occur, and that was a pun intended. But for uh, for example, interactive brokers, they offer US options for $0.65 cents each. So you're not exactly getting a deal here, but that's just me being cheap. And I, I'm going to point that out just because they're really advertising that point. And as well, they have $2 per contract, but banks offer cheaper Per contract, but then they also have a flat fee. Most of the banks are about $1.25 per contract, and then they charge about a $10 commission on top of that. But if you're buying a ton of contracts, at that point, it ends up being cheaper to be actually with these banks, which they're saying, oh, they're ripping you off. 
Second, which is honestly the much bigger issue, is the risks are just not emphasized enough within ads and then the initial app and then on their landing page from the ads. While Simple only provides a very brief description like I did before, which is just not enough to start trading options. You should not be trading options just off that limited information. It's a starting point, but by no means even close to that point. So on the landing page, they advertise option trading five minutes which for the average person who stumbled on their ads from social media, Instagram, Reddit, that sort of thing, where they have an advertising, I've seen them at quite a few places otherwise, where Facebook as well. If that is your first introduction to options, that is just reckless advertising by Wealthsimple. And like all ads, of course, they're focused on the great benefits of options, but in reality, options are just financial tools and they can be used improperly if not understood. I will say though, to Wealthsimple's benefit, they do provide more information on their options on their website. But as Wealthsimple is effectively an app at this point, it's not, there's some access on the website, but not much. I would bet most people who are seeing these ads and then signing up are not seeing any additional information. In one of their posts, even on their own website, which of course they're not going to show in their ads, retail traders lost 2.1 billion in option trading between November of 2019 and June of 2021. But displaying that fact wouldn't be good advertisement, so they're not going to show it up front. So if you are even remotely interested in options, don't rush in. Take your time. Understand they are not an, directly an investment tool for many people. They are a trading tool. There are investment strategies with them, covered calls, leaps, and other options. But doing just simple option trading is not an investment, especially if you don't understand them. Okay. Awesome. Um. <clears throat> One thing that I'd like to add too is for people to understand that options are basically just insurance or essentially like insurance. And what these ads are, are you know, promoting are for people to buy options. And just like, you know, any of the large insurance companies, the house always wins essentially. So it's, it's good to understand that the seller of those options always has um, a little bit of the, the benefit or um, the odds are in their favor, uh, that that specific call option won't get in the money or, you know, put option, uh, that they're selling. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, you know, that whenever you're selling an option, technically you're acting as like an insurance provider. Uh, whereas when you're buying, you're like, you know, getting insurance coverage yeah. essentially. I will add on that is well, simple only does offer long calls and puts at the moment, but I'm guessing just from their wording on their uh, website, they're going to introduce those more complex options, strategies, which do have some great uh, advantages to them, but they are in some cases much, much more risky because you open yourself up to infinite losses. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> we talk to many, many investors at conferences at our own events uh, on an annual basis. A number of them, a good portion of them have at times a hard time wrapping around their heads around just investing in a stock, what that actually is, what you're actually getting when you invest in a stock. Now, putting a derivative on this um, is, is about as clear as mud. If you don't understand these and understand options, um, easily understand them, it's not something the average retail investor should be doing. So the promotion of these with no real look at the downside other than some really small print saying they're more cost effective than investing in stocks, that's a bit disingenuous to me. So, I, I mean, I, I just, you know, it, 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 you know it, if you're going to use this strategy, like Brett said, it is uh, not investing, it is speculating, it is a trade. And, uh, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing it, period. I mean, yeah, that's the most retail investors shouldn't be using options, especially like you said, like they are tough to understand, you know, particularly as to... part of a long term investment, building a portfolio. Mm -hmm. It's really just not it's trading as opposed to yeah. investing long term in a portfolio. So, I mean, that's what we're talking about. So we're talking about two different worlds here, essentially. Mm -hmm. Aaron, it's any even... thoughts on that or? You're muted. You're but... muted. <laughs> that's okay. Um, Aaron's, was, Aaron's a stick figure again. That's I was happened. even going to relate it to just like a company too. Like you want a company's, you know, business, uh, to be like easy to understand. You know, the last thing that we want to do is invest in some company that has this specific technology that I can't understand. You know, it's again, it's don't invest in what you don't know. Anyways. True.